In this video, I'll be showing how to union your datasets using dataset column names as opposed to column position. Union by name is useful if you want to union information between datasets, but the columns are not listed in the exact same order. It's up to you to decide whether union by column name or column position is the better approach for you based on your use case, but when you union by column name, you alleviate the need to perform manual column reordering. Here I have two sales datasets. One is from 2021 and the other is from 2022. Both of these datasets have the same columns. However, the columns are in different orders between both datasets. To union the information between both datasets, I'm clicking on the Union Rows node in the data flow. You can see that there are two options, the first being a match by column order and the second being match by column name. Matching by column name generates a successful preview query, but match by column order throws an error. This is because the system's trying to union the columns based on the position they're located in, and in this case, there are a few data type mismatches because the columns don't align. At this point, I've added a save data step and titled the output dataset union output so we can look at what this looks like in a workbook. I've generated a workbook and added that output data set and you can see that we have information from 2021 and 2022. So this serves just as a sanity check that the union performed correctly.